Welcome to Monday Night Raw. Starting us off this week, we have a rematch from last week as Zia Lee will try once again to get a victory over the women's champion, Becky Lynch. Becky's response to Zaya's request for a rematch was short and simple. Just two words. She said, last time. And here we go. Lock up and Zaya Lee with the slam taking an early advantage trying to learn from the mistakes of last week as she stomps on the face of the man. Oh, twist around and a neck breaker. Mounted punches. Oh, and a slap for good measure. There's a fire that has been lit in Zia Lee for this week's contest. A fury of strikes. Becky blocks, and now Becky with a slap of her own. Ooh, an elbow. Oh, Zaya going for this neck breaker once again. Capture, ne capture neck breaker. Nice snap suplex there. Going for the didn't even get a one count. More damage will need to be inflicted. Zia Lee to the top rope. Becky's getting to her feet. And oh, oh. Becky caught her. Oh, and slam. Oh, Becky going for the pin. One. Zia Lee kicks out. Nice forearm shot there from the champion. Zia Lee has been in control of most of this match. It's actually been quite impressive. Champ got her caught. 
reverse DDT there, going for the pin. One, two, no, just the one. Zaya's not done yet. Boom. Uh, Becky taking the time to pander to the fans. Boom. Strike after strike as the man drops Zaya Lee. Leg drop to the arm. Oh, hung her up on the ropes. Both combatants to the outside now. Referee starting his count. Count out is a way in which this match could end. Let's hope that it doesn't, but it is possible. Zaya with the jawbreaker. Now battling back with those kicks and bomb strikes. Vicious knees to the champion. Oh! Zaya Lee getting back in the ring. Referee's count up to seven. Becky's out on her feet on the outside. Eight. Becky back into the ring. She breaks the count. And Zia Lee is all over her with those strikes. Nice snap there into the kick. Oh, Becky avoided that devastating kick. Pump handle slam. One, two, and Zia Lee kicks out. takes her down, the disarmer, she's got the disarmer, this is how it ended last week. Can Zia Lee escape the disarmer? Zia Lee fighting back now. Nice snap there, again into that soccer ball kick. Becky with a pump handle fall away slam. And stomping at Zaya. And a nice elbow drop driven right into the heart of Zaya. Repeated kicks to the back. Perhaps some frustration being shown by the champion going into the pin. One, two, three. And Becky Lynch is victorious. Yet again. Next up, we have a triple threat match that has world title implications.
an interesting situation here as, it, as Big E, after his victory over Roman Reigns last week, is the assume, would be the assumed number one contender. However, Yokozuna's pinfall victory over the champion last week, by some count, would make him the assumed number one contender. much the number one contender whenever he decides he wants to be. Yokozuna shocked the WWE Universe last week when he squished and pinned the dominant WWE Champion Brock Lesnar. eyes of many, that alone is enough to earn him a title shot. But if he can be victorious tonight, there will be no denying this 600 plus pound monster of a man. And here we go, and Yokozuna going right after John Cena. Throws him into Big E. Cena up and scoop slam. Big E taking the time to mess around with the fans while Yoko tries to twist John Cena's head off. The triple threat match, first pinfall or submission win. Scoop slam to Big E. The big man just having his way with everybody. Nice slam there. Oh. And Big E with the strikes now, trying to wear down the big man. And Yoko's down. John taking a breather in the corner. And now it's John with those strikes on Big E. Big E stumbles into the corner. And oh, John bounces his face off the turnbuckle. Yoko to his feet. Back elbows from Cena going in for the pin, and Yoko says no. And jo oh, John Cena with a hurricane runner. And another one. Uh, Yoko attacking the arm of Cena. And another slam. Big E back in, locks up with Yoko, shoots him into the corner, and now locks up with Cena. 
Cena over the top rope, but he hangs on. Oh, strikes as Big E tries to chop down this big tree that is Yokozuna, and Yoko goes down. Cena pandering to the fans now. Oh, and he eats turnbuckle for his efforts. Big E has Cena up, and snake eyes. Oh, repeated gut shots from Big E to Yoko. As a Yoko's gut, I'm not sure that even hurts. Cena pandering to the crowd now as Big E attacks the back of Yoko Zuna. If you can injure the big man's back, he'll take those repeated scoop slams out of the situation. Nice forearm from Big E. Big E has Cena up. Letting the blood rush to his head. He's doing squats with him. Some impressive strength. Delayed vertical suplex. Yoko getting back in the ring. Oh, Yoko. Oh, what a clothesline from Big E. Big E is spear. Big E is done fooling around. He wants that shot at the WWE Championship. But Yoko's saying that it's all over. Oh! What a matchup here. Yo, yo! Big ending to Yokozuna. Going for the pin. And Cena breaks it up. The waist lock side slam from Big E. The big splash. He's got Yoko up again. Big ending. A second big ending to Yokozuna. One, two. Oh, Yoko kicked out. Oh, Cena trying to mock Big E, but Big E's having none of it. I cannot believe Yokozuna kicked out of two big endings. Another slam on Cena from Big E. And Cena driving the shoulder into the mat. Yoko going for the pin. One. Big E kicks out. Yoko grabs Cena. Cena's up. And a Samoan drop. Cena rolling to the outside. And a clubbing blow from Big E. Big E going to the top rope. Not a place we see him all that often. And double axe handle. Ooh, a kick from Yokozuna. Nice elbow to the midsection. And repeated blows to the spine of Yokozuna. Cena back in the ring. And a headbutt to the back of the head. Yoko dropping Big E. Inzaguri from Big E. Cena's feeling it. We got a little five knuckle shuffle. No, no. Big E with the shoulder block interrupting the five knuckle shuffle. Cena's got Big E up in the electric chair. Turns it into a flapjack. Now it's Yokozuna and John Cena locking up. Big E rolls to the outside. Cena gets hung up in those ropes. One, two, Cena kicks out. Super kick, super kick from the big man. We saw this, yes, Cena squished. One, oh, but Big E puts a stop to that. And gets a gut buster for his efforts. Cena might be, Cena could have a punctured lung, he's barely moving. 
as now Big E is trying to take apart the arm of Yokozuna. Cena making it back to his feet. Yoko just striking away at Big E. And now Cena with attacks to the spine of Yokozuna. John turning his attention to Big E now. Yoko having none of that hits John with the head, big head butt. Smacks his face against the turnbuckle. Big E pandering to the crowd. Big E and John Cena might want to think about teaming up to get rid of this behemoth that is, oh, Yokozuna, who's just pretty much having his way with the both of them right now. And hang Cena up on the ropes again. Oh, we're going to see it again. Bonsai drop. Going for the pin. One, two, three. Well, if you had any doubts about whether or not Yokozuna deserved a shot, at the WWE Championship. I'm sure those have been laid to rest at this point. So impressive. Next up, the WWE Champion Brock Lesnar is in action against the Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior going to try his hand against the Beast tonight. got to believe the Beast is largely looking for an impressive victory here tonight. His failure against Yokozuna last week, I'm sure, did not sit well with him. He looks confident, though. But perhaps he should not be too confident. You never want to take your opponent lightly. Especially not when your opponent is a former WWE Champion in his own right.
and we are underway. The Warrior with strikes right out of the gate. Some sort of trape tra trapezoid trapezius submission there. I'm not sure what that was. Looks like he was giving him a massage. But, uh, yeah, it, oh, and the beast battling back now. Oh, headlock toss. Nice fisherman suplex from the beast. Driving the knee of Warrior into the mat. That'll slow the bit. That'll slow him down. That's a will. Warrior, a uh, bundle, just an explosion of energy in most cases, overwhelming his opponent, and the, the beast clearly trying to limit those kinds of actions, but didn't even get a one count. Midsection strikes followed by a German suplex. Brock just deadlifting and into a sit-out powerbomb. Oh, the warrior with the knee. Shoots Lesnar over the top rope, but Lesnar hangs on. Lesnar hung up on those ropes there and just clubs him to the mat. Warrior to the top rope. Elbow drop. Going for the pin. One. And Lesnar kicks out. Impressive strength there. Dominator power slam. Warrior just manhandling Lesnar. Oh, Brock's not having any of it. And German suplex. I think it's time to go to Suplex City. Brock Lesnar holding on, not releasing German after German. He pulls Warrior to the center of the ring now. And going for the pin. One, two, and Warrior kicks out. Germans may be devastating, but it just wasn't enough. Oh, and a nice series of punches from Brock Lesnar. Deadlift power bomb. Impressive display of strength. Now he's pulling Warrior to his feet. A backbreaker from the Warrior. Warrior pulling Lesnar to the center of the ring. Oh, Warrior Splash! Warrior Splash! Oh, too close to the ropes. And the middle turnbuckle splash from the Warrior. Going for the pin. One. And Lesnar kicks out. Warrior well, doing a little showboating here. And clubbing down on the champion. Fisherman brain buster from Brock Lesnar. Lesnar going for the pin. One, two, no, not even two. Lots of fight left in the Warrior. And Lesnar.
because their space bounces off the turnbuckle there. Double-handed chokeslam from the Warrior. And an elbow for good measure. And military press. He's doing reps with the beast. Going for the pin. One. Lesnar grabbed the rope. Oh, the Warrior is not pleased. Frustration setting in. Pulling the beast to the center of the ring. Stomp. Warrior slam. One. Two. No. I thought he was going to get him. I really thought he was going to get him. Hey, Warriors got Lesnar up. Military press slam. And a headbutt from Brock. I'm not sure if pandering to the crowd is Brock's best course of action right now. Oh, he caught, he caught Warriors' leg. Dragon screw. Go. What's he going for here? That's an arm bar. But, oh, and a leg bar. He's got both. He's got both. Can Warrior escape from this submission hold? Nope, the Warrior managed to wiggle his way out. Oh, nice punch from Brock Lesnar. And a gut shot. Oh, he's got Warrior up. Are we going to see the F5? F5! Into the pin. One, two. Warrior kick out. Brock Lesnar, he's not, not even phased. We're going right into his German suplexes. Suplex City, indeed. He shook Warrior up and slammed him around, and now. An, Again, another F5. Warrior's got to be done. He's only human after all, too. And what? Is he human? Brock Lesnar, frustrated, strikes to the face now of the Warrior. Warrior with the jawbreaker and throwing Lesnar across the ring. What a showing from the Ultimate Warrior. Going for the pin. One. Lesnar kicks out. Elbow to the back of the head. Warrior showboating a bit. It's a little late in the match for showboating. Warrior up to the second rope. shoulder block takes down the beast we're going for the pin now one two and no Brock kicks out warrior warrior saying he wants a faster count he's very frustrated and Brock Lesnar with a flurry of strikes just dumps Warrior on his head. Oh, Brock's getting loose. Oh, pounding down. Just vicious punches pounding down on the Warrior. And we're back to the German suplex. He's got those hands locked. He's not letting go until he feels good and ready. I mean, there's only so many times Warrior can get dumped on his head, right? I, he's got to be dunked. One, two, that's it. The Beast is victorious.